Hello boys and girls, Ant here, and today I'm playing Assault Android Cactus. Plus. See the plus? See that over there? Um, this is the Nintendo Switch version of Assault Android Cactus, and you probably know, I might know, I've played this a lot on the channel, the original versions at least. Um, I'm a bit of a big old big old fan of this game. I did a whole Metal Gaming Recommends on it. I've played the Xbox and the PC and the PS4 version. I don't have the Xbox one, that's the one I'm missing. But this has come out today. I was playing it last night at midnight. Um, and it's like, basically they've take, got the whole game in as usual. It still runs super smoothly, like 60 frames per second and everything. Um, it's got a whole bunch of assist modes for kids to play and stuff like that, or anyone who's like got issues with twin stick shooters and stuff, um, which I'm not using, but whatever. Um, and when you finish the campaign, it unlocks like a, a bonus mode. Like there's a new uh, campaign plus mode, which is like a tougher version of it, where it throws in like every enemy type right from the start. Um, but yeah, there's also costumes. I say costumes, recolors and stuff. Um, I've only unlocked this one so far, but um, there was a couple of costumes in the original game, not many. But yeah, let's, let's show what it looks like. Because to be honest, it is like, it is pretty much spot on to the original, the original version of it. Um, I'm on zone three now. I like I've done the first couple of zones here and there. I've got S pluses on a few. How's my rankings going? Let's see. Seventy six. I had a, like a fourth place on one of them last night, which definitely not going to keep. Definitely not keeping that fourth place. Um, like this one here, forty eighth. But yeah, um, let's do it. Look, we're up to a boss almost. There's Venom. That's a that's a tricky boss. Um, I've got to say, it plays really well, and it's still like silky smooth. The fact it's going at 60 frames per second is like well, that's just showing off, really. Um, like you can tell in like places if you played the game a lot, how they like cut back certain things to, um, you know, make it hit 60 frames per second. But it really doesn't like it doesn't look much different. The reflections are brought down a little bit. The resolution is still 1080p and everything. It's you know, I don't really notice much. I went straight on from playing this to playing the PC version last night, um, just to compare, and it really, like, you can hardly tell. Like, and I'm playing the PC version at 4K. Um, oh god, getting hit. I want, I want some of this when it goes red. Well, oh, oh that'll do. Shut down. Let's get rid of them. But yeah, really, like, it looks the part. Cause the thing is, the camera's pretty zoomed out, obviously. Um, you know, it's not one of those games where the camera's dead close to the action. But, um... Oh god, getting a bit hectic. Um, but yeah, it's not one of those games where the action's like super close to the camera or anything, so... Like, the texture detail, if there's any drop in the texture quality, it's not really that much. Oh, egg. I need that battery. Right, let's run through there. There we go. Whoop. I know it's saying with the new campaign plus thing, oops, um, that it's giving him a chance to use an enemy type that only appears in the main game once. So, like, there's a, I think it's a type of turret, if I remember rightly, it only appears in the main game once. And on the campaign plus mode, it's like, it's through the whole thing. Oop. I do like firepower. Let's me just destroy stuff quick. Helps me keep my combos going. Oh, oh god. Give me that firepower again. Yeah, there you go. Oh shit, I walked right into that. Those bombs, they, um, when they blow up, they give that little red blast off. Red explosions hurt enemies. So you can use that to your advantage and get some damage on some enemies. This level was crazy. Like, the way the floor keeps rebuilding it, it makes sure that there's never, like, never not a path back to items and stuff. Like, Tim, who did the Tim Dawson, Tim, yeah Dawson, um, did the coding for this, and the guy's a wizard. <laughs> um, the whole game's only made by three people, which is still baffling. Oh no, I need to get some of those. This is the accelerate. This make this drags like the little gems towards you. The gems boost up the power of your weapons. Um, it'll also pull batteries towards you. I need a battery. Convenient. Whoop. Oh god, I right, backed right into that. But um, yeah, while you've got that, those wings flying around, oh Jesus, um, you actually like, Jesus Christ, I need to kill that thing. 
when you've got those wings going, you actually, uh, your third hit of damage goes through. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. This stage is tricky. I did have a quick go with the single Joy-Con yesterday, and it works really well. It um, basically auto-aims for you. So it's perfect for people with, like, you know, one thumb. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my God. Almost had the battery. I messed up. Here we get to hear the song, though. That was that didn't go well. Those things, those jud, those little things at the top of the screen, they drive me nuts. Oh dear. Let's let the song start. I'm just a little android. Classic. I think it's the first time that Jeff Van Dyke um, put lyrics to one of his one of his songs. He did the music for this. Jeff Van Dyke did the music for like Skitch in the Total War series. Um, Alien Isolation, I think, was his. Um, Alien Isolation is fantastic. He wants to play that on the channel, but Paul's scared of it. Whoop. Boom. Some nice little quality of life stuff going on in this game. The way it like shows you where enemies are off the screen with the little symbols. Whoop. It is possible to put off collecting the batteries, just moving around, because sometimes you want to time collecting them so you're getting the most out of them. Uh. Jesus Christ. You see how it's locking to that 60 frames per second? It's not. Even with all this sh just like stuff going on everywhere. I am low on health. Boom. Shoot the bombs quickly so they blow him up as well. Oh. I should use other characters really, but I'm trying to unlock all the costumes. And as far as I'm aware, the costumes unlock when you complete a certain amount of levels. So that's what I need to do. Play lots of levels with lemon, with um, cactus, rather. And uh, unlock her costumes. I've got the silver one, that's, that's a nice one, the silver one. I think there was gold costumes on the original. I, I, don't, I didn't unlock any on the PC version. You have to do. You have to get really good at the game, basically. Oh, jeez, that thing. Oh, walked right into that. Fucking die. <laughs> that was good timing. You're invincible for a little while when you've got shut down on. Oh, I was quite glad I managed to get past um, the third stage boss because that one always been tricky for me. I struggled on that one on PC for a while, but I got past him first time, which I was chuffed by. Friggin' bees! Why is there so many bees? Give me that. Thank you. This whole set of stages this one's on is all about, like, floor collapsing, scenery falling apart around you. Give me that battery. Fucking burn. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Got to keep my distance from them. I really do. Oh, it does really get a bit bullet hell in this game. Keep back from the red ones. They blow you up. All right, give me the give me the firepower. Oh, that'll do. <sighs> Shut down. Fine. Oh, that one's dead. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, got that one. I hate those things. Jeez. Uh, Good thing is their their beam damages enemies, so you can lead them into shooting themselves. Drop a battery. There we go. That's what I like. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's actually possible to lose a battery. I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> you can, like, let them run down so they run out of time. Oh my god. This stage is just brutal. Uh, got it. 
we're down to the end. Oh, I was trying to time that. Oh, I'm not doing good. There's not many left. I'm trying to tank hits. That's what I want. One more left. Ah. Fucking die. Ah. That is not going to be a good score. Yeah, I don't know what the resolution is it's running at. I'm thinking it's hitting like 900 to 1080p. I don't think it's I don't think it's using adaptive resolution. It's hard for me to tell sometimes because I've, I've got a 4K screen and everything just looks pretty sharp on it. It's got a couple of jagged edges, but I think that's I think it's 1080p. It's definitely when you're in handheld, it's like it's crisp and it's still hitting 60 frames per second in handheld, which is like super impressive because that's where most a lot of games struggle. Here we go, we're going to try and beat Venom. I'm probably going to fail miserably on this one. I remember this one being a pain in the ass. Look at him, he's a big old spider. It's the best day of my life. Every time I shake the ship, more candy tumbles out and gets caught in my web. Oh, well, she's painted like a cop. Yeah, yeah, story stuff. I like it, it's got character. Every character has a different interaction going on. I've always quite liked Starch. Alright, just got to pass around in between these. Should really get close. Uh, see, that I did that wrong. Oh god! I'm not dishing out much damage here. <laughs> Boom! Give that battery. Got to destroy them. Try and get rid of them. Oh my god! Nothing to move much, so that's okay. There you go, shut down. Boom, shut that thing down. Right, I'm going to let this one go blue. Because shut down is your friend on bosses. Yeah. Burn through him. Boom, shut down again. Oh, it's coming alive. Okay. Can't what the purple bullets do. Purple bullets do something. <laughs> oh, God. I think the purple bullets are like an instant fail if you get hit by them. It's been it's been a while since I've really played this in depth, and I know I did a whole video on it. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember. Right, give me some of that. Fucking die! Oh, went straight into that. Oh god, there's lasers everywhere. Give me that. Shut down. Come on, come on. Blue. Boom. Shut down. Uh. Alright, that lets me negate every third hit of damage, which is good. Oh. Okay, let's let that turn back to shut down again. I didn't, I collected it. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. There's a final boss as well in the game, which is like, everything goes hectic on the final boss, turns into geometry wars for a bit. And that one, that I am not so good at. Right. Okay, get that battery. I need to grab that over here. Boom. Let's do some damage. Yeah, instant knockdown. Get close, that's what I want to do. I'm not even on the final stage of this boss yet. Oh god. I don't think I'm going to manage this. I'm failing miserably. Fucking burn! Yeah, I failed miserably. Oh, you got to keep your battery going. I can, I can do good at this. Let's go pick a stage and let's let's do a stage and try and get a, another S plus on, shall we? Uh, yeah. What did I get on my leaderboard rank before? Three hundred twelve is what I've been knocked down to. That is upsetting. Gonna have to do something about that. I'll beat Venom another time, yeah. Or I'll just cheat, I'll use the cheat code. The problem with this stage, getting an S plus on it, is that red one at the start, and you can't really, you don't really have the firepower to take that thing out quick enough to get an S plus on it. There we go. 
So you need to like sort of damage it a little bit as you go along. Because the trick to getting S plus is just keeping a chain going. Which you can't do if you fall. So you can't get knocked down and you got to keep a chain going. Alright, let's work our way. Wee wee wee. Let everyone blow up. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. I need that battery. That's uh, very important. Actually, I probably should have left that for a bit, really. Let my battery drain a little. Oh god, no. Oh shit, lost my lost my S plus. Still getting S rank though. Yeah, let's just work our way around the side. Love this, everything chases you. Alright, let's let this go to shut down. Those little power ups change colour after a few seconds. Let's do some real damage. Ugh. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> But yeah, freaking the Salt Android Cactus. I did that video ages ago. The Metal Gaming recommends on it, and that is like that was the first time any developer and in like you know chucked me a comment and said, "Hey, I like this. It's good. I like this video." Um, so that was quite cool. And that's um, that's like probably the first Metal Gaming recommends I think where I actually figured out what I wanted to do with the format. But um, I have ditched the video stuff since. Hey, I went up a rank. But yeah, should we uh, let's bring my girl Starch out. Starch is my favourite. And uh, let's do my favourite stage, the one I always fail miserably on. I've always liked this stage. It's tricky, this one. Let's do it with pineapple. Let's see if I, with Starch, rather. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, yeah I went back and checked, like, um, on the Xbox version to see if like the scenery in the background was 3D on those versions. Not on Xbox on PC. Um, and it isn't the scenery is like still a flat bitmap on flat flat tile. So they haven't cut any corners like that. They haven't done something like, you know, replace some extreme scenery with like geometry with a flat image. It's like it is a hundred percent the same design everywhere. Which is impressive because this <laughs> this game throws stuff around. I don't know if you've noticed. There's a lot of stuff going on sometimes. No, stop shooting me. I need to get my health back. I'm gonna lose my combo. I just, oh, I lost my combo already anyway, so. Whatever's. Whee! Let's throw some rockets at people. Let's get a battery. The trick with starch is to get closer to your enemies. The, um, the closer you are, the more damage the beam does. Like, just instant, like, see that, it just pops them instantly. <laughs> That's why she's sometimes pretty tricky to do bosses with, because some of the bosses you, you know, you kind of want to keep your distance from. But with Starch, you need to get close. Oh, give me my power. Oh, yeah, I just got back from seeing Captain Marvel, which was frigging good stuff. Really enjoyable. Like, definitely in the upper tier of the Marvel movies. Friggin' had some funny stuff in it and a really good soundtrack. Had garbage on the soundtrack, which you don't hear nearly often enough these days. Oh, oh, need that battery. There we go. Shut down. Blue circles. I want some pretty wings. And some. What do you call the. What do you call the guns? Tiny robots, that's it. Let me just see what Starch's other costumes are like. I think she had one in the original game which was like where she was broken or something. I think. I've only ever seen it when I put the cheat code in. That's a good way of dealing with all those bees. Oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> the floor's rotating like crazy on this. <laughs> you are OP, Starch. You really are. Right. I think we're almost on the last wave. Oh, 
Oh. I do like that turret because it does do massive damage to the enemies, but it's also very difficult to keep dodging. <laughs> it does get in the way. Now we're on the last wave, are we? Maybe. Probably not. Uh, there we go. Stop shooting at me. You jerk wads. Uh, boom. Let's just stand at the side. Let the conveyor belt take me around. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh my god, this stage is going on. Battery! Battery! <clears throat> oh god, probably would have survived that if I didn't get the wings. There we go, just some bees left. There we go. Thought I'd overkill that end at the end. Everything's dead. That wasn't my best performance, I've got to be honest. <laughs> well, I did alright. One thing I noticed when I went to the PC version, they switched the B and A around because on Switch games A is always select, which is the right side button. But on the Xbox, it's the and PS1, it's X and A, which is on the bottom, and that confused the hell out of me when I was playing it on PC. Kept accidentally backing out of stages and selecting them. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's enough of that, isn't it? Um, that's Assault Android Cactus on on the Switch, Assault Android Cactus Plus. Um. I'm going to have to work through and complete the game and unlock the campaign plus mode and then work through that, which is probably going to be a nightmare. But um, it is it is really good stuff. They've added a movie for you. That wasn't in it originally. Um, and a little while ago, this is actually in the um, other versions. There's a developer commentary you can switch on, which wasn't in the original game, but it's been added. I think it's on the PC version. I don't know about console. Um, but yeah, there's all sorts of, like, you know extra stuff, automatic games for the um, when you have the Switch Joy-Cons plugged in and the way it works it automatically twitches towards whatever's the nearest enemy which sounds like it would be making the game super easy but it does basically mean that you can't prioritise who you're attacking so if you've got, you know you've got an enemy that's going to be a real big trouble out the side that's going to be a nightmare um, it might make playing Aubergine a bit easier though because Aubergine's, I find Aubergine tricky with a controller I only play it with mouse and keyboard normally um, but yeah, that's Assault Android Cactus Plus. Um, this still works. This little cheat, which apparently was an absolute nightmare to implement. Um, Siama Mishra told me yesterday. So yeah, that's a thing. It unlocks everything. Look at that. <laughs> Just so you see, there's Campaign Plus and Boss Rush. And uh, you can... That's the costume. I think that's one of the ones. You had like a completely gold costume. And I think there's a uh, yeah Power Ranger lemonade, pink lemonade, all right, G Ranger. I won't spoil them all. That's quite good. That's a goth, goth Holly. I, I'm, I'm not going to spoil them all. <laughs> That's the one I had, the broken one. That was already in the original game, I think, if I remember rightly. Or something like that, or maybe there was art of that. I can't remember. Anyway, don't want to ruin everything. Um, that cheat deactivates when you exit the game. It doesn't save anything when you use it. I won't tell you what the cheat is though, but it's a classic one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, that's me just rambling on for a while while playing this. I thought I'd do a little quick video because it'd be weird if I didn't cover this version, wouldn't it? Really. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you later. I'll get some Power Blade videos done soon as well. We have got more of those to put up. Gonna have pool round tomorrow. We're gonna play something, I imagine. Who knows? <laughs> I'll uh, I'll smell you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.